Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Joss and today we have a brand new uh, cassette and vinyl update. Obviously I haven't done one of these for quite a while now, so I've got um, a bunch of stuff that I kind of need to get through. Um, so I'm not going to spend like loads of time kind of just, you know, talking through each individual release. I'm kind of kind of just going to show you, tell you what I think and then move on because I've got one, two, three, four, five cassettes and then a bunch of vinyl. So what I'm listening to in the background is actually uh, this release here, which I purchased from um, Adam from uh, Vital Vinyl Vlog. Uh, obviously you guys know him, and this is Dick Vomit, with Terminally Chill. Um, it's an unbelievably cool kind of party, thrash, uh, metal sort of vibe to it. So I've just got that playing on the cassette player back there just while I run through this stuff. Um, these two releases I bought off of uh, Grandfather Productions, which is like a UK based grind death metal sort of distribution company, uh, one man sort of thing. Um, the first one, which, uh, to be honest, almost every single release that I'm going to go through, people that watch these videos know who they are. But if you don't, it's just worth checking them out because I am going to kind of speed through this stuff. So, first one is Caustic Wounds with uh, Death Posture. This is something that I, basically, I've just taken a long, long time to actually get hold of for some strange reason. Um, here's the physical of the cassette. Um, looks absolutely awesome as you, you know, only can assume because to be honest at the moment physical form of music whether it be cassette or vinyl is just looking better and better people are getting prolific artists people are really really kind of stepping out the box when it comes to the cassette visuals um i saw the suffocation um all over print cassette recently as well and it's the same as my m and mule one um they're just amazing to look at all over prints um so here is the j card for the caustic wound release well there you go. Looks killer. It's really nice and basic, but the artwork is super, super cool. I really like that whole... To be honest, when it comes to the grind and the death grind stuff, I'm um, using the real pictures of death. I don't know why. It's just kind of cool. I really like that. If you're a little bit nauseous to that sort of thing, then it can be a turn-off sometimes looking at the covers. But um, most of the time, don't judge a release by the cover visual. Just kind of listen to the music and see what you think. Um, this is kind of yeah grind death metal production is insane the songs are crazy amazing as well just super super heavy um and that's kind of all i look for off of the grindfather um uh grindfather productions page i look for the super extreme grind death metal releases and caustic Mo wound is definitely up there next another release that i've been kind of just for some reason for ages haven't purchased and that is melting rot with uh, blood delusions one of my favorite grind death metal records ever. Um, I absolutely adore this. I got the t-shirt before I bought the cassette for some reason, but yeah, I absolutely adore it. Um, comes on a really, really cool pink. I don't know if it will come up on camera, but that's pink. So it comes in a really cool pink cassette. Um, and the artwork, as you can only assume, is just absolutely awesome. And this is a Grindfather release. So you get a little cool piece of artwork there. Then you get the cover, which is absolutely amazing. My dad saw it recently and was like, "Yo, that t-shirt's really cool. Um, then just kind of the band. But yeah, Blood Delusions. Just an absolutely awesome, you know, well-known death metal grind um, metal release. Um, melting Rot. Next one, um, I haven't spoken about it, I don't think, on camera. And that is the brand new... Hyperdontia record, which is a uh, hideous entity. Hideous? Yeah, hideous entity. <laughs> um, comes in this awesome slipcase um, and then comes with the bright yellow cassette, which I love. I love when the cassettes are really, really kind of an aggressive color like that. Um, nice big J card, as you would expect from like a brand new release. Um, so you've got the artwork, some track information, the band, um, and then the lyrical content on the back sheet there as well. The thing is, with death metal, um, no one's kind of re-envisioning re -envisioning the wheel or anything. No one seems to be trying to doing anything different. Um, I think purposefully as well, because it's more like 
if you stick to the traditional ways of death metal, then it seems to be that, you know, in the elitist culture, you're paying homage more than the other bands that aren't. Um, I don't know how that works, but it's like, for me, if you're not playing a BC Rich guitar and you play in the underground death metal band, then you seem to be doing it wrong. Do you know what I mean? Um, but these guys on this record, odd time signatures, kind of odd sounding riffs here and there, mixed in with the traditional death metal stuff, super low tuned, super heavy. Um, and the vocal delivery is awesome on this as well. I really enjoyed that side of things. So yeah, uh, Hyperdontia's new record, um, not boring. So that's good news. So a couple of uh, releases that I was really, really excited to get from um, Crypt of the Wizard here in the UK, which is like a black metal underground sort of uh, shop in London. Um, the first one is um, Behe... Berosoth, Ber Berosoth, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's this one here, it's that one there, um, so you can kind of pronounce it yourself, um, I found this uh, because of a YouTuber that I really really enjoy watching on, uh, well, fucking YouTube as I just said, um, and I listened to this and it's like psychedelic really really cool 70s infused black metal um i love the j card straight away because it's small it's basic um but you have that and then on this side it's just that sort of vibe there so it's exactly just as what i said it's like 70s infused classic rock and and black metal and it just sounds super super interesting so that's why i love this sort of thing because it reminds me of bands like old nick and stuff like that that in the black metal world are doing something completely off the wall and new so definitely check that out it's really really interesting last of the cassettes um i have uh the perverted ceremony and witchcraft split uh, from the same place um on cassette because Perverted Ceremony are one of my favourite black metal bands ever. Um, and if you do a split with those guys, I'm really interested to hear what your music is like. So Witchcraft did not disappoint. Sounds amazing. Um, that's a really basic one. Uh, just go check that out for yourself. So I actually got a care package from Candlelight Records or Candlelit Records, um, which was the best care package I've ever received in terms of music, physical form music, because there was just a bunch of vinyl in there and it was amazing. So I'm just gonna go through everything that they sent me. Um, and yeah, the cool thing about most of these or all of them is that they're limited edition uh, colored um, vinyl uh, releases or re-releases. So the first one um, is Emperor with reverence i don't have to say anything about emperor and and people always say this because it's just kind of like you know if they pick up a prolific artist on these youtube channels i watch they always go i don't have to say anything about this because realistically speaking if you listen to any of these forms of music death metal or black metal you already know all of these releases but as emperor especially i don't need to really say anything just one of the most loved and prolific black metal bands to have ever done it um so really really pumped on that so really lovely see-through sort of blue color so another one but like a very very well known re-release here we've got emperor with wrath of the tyrant um everybody knows this if you're into black metal it's just an incredibly prolific album look at the artwork there holy shade and once again, I believe this is a limited edition picture disc. Yeah, uh, not picture disc, color disc. This one looks awesome. So there you go. I've been listening to this one like a lot. Um, just for the pure fact that I've never really owned any Emperor. And um, I was just really happy that now I've got kind of two of the most well-known records from this band. And um, I've been listening to them a lot. So... Emperor. So this one is another band that I never actually got into just because of the name. This is Anel Nakrath with Vanitas um, and there's a little sticker on here which was it was the top record and it says hey Josh sorry for the lo uh, sorry this took so long he was on holiday so I don't know why he's apologizing me hope you enjoy the records it's a mix of black metal death metal goodness from Candlelight Records slash Marcus and Anel Nakrath um, with Vanitas. I listened to this the day I got all it, all of the stuff and I don't know why I haven't listened to this band. I think it's just because of the name, just because it sounds like anal. Um, but once again, just a brutal, like just 
like never ending onslaught of a band and I love it. And once again, this is probably one of my favorite discs or vinyls out of the whole lot because this thing looks crazy. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. I've never seen anything like that one on a vinyl, so really, really happy with that. And for it to be such a good album as well, I'm really, really pumped on that. So, um, unbelievably happy that I was able to kind of find this band finally, because I've never purchased anything. Um, so yeah, Vanitas by Anna Nagraf. So, uh, controversial here, here, I'm not really a fan of bands like Mastodon or Baroness and all of those sort of bands. I used to be in the early stages of those sort of things, but, um... Mastodon's like whole kind of blood and thunder years I liked a lot more um, but as my kind of music taste grew to be more extreme um, I kind of left that stuff behind um, now I've picked this album up a lot in record stores um, that are local to me um, but I've never listened to it um, and uh, I've always kind of just I don't know I've just never really listened to it and as much as I am appreciative of this sort of stuff, you're never going to like everything. And this one, um, I Earn, or yeah, I think it's Earn. Um, this is Serpent and Spirit, and it's their newest release. Um, comes on a beautiful sort of mud or yellow sort of uh, sunset sort of finish on the on the vinyl. Um, but because it reminds me of that whole Mastodon sort of Baroness sort of thing, it's just not really my sort of vibe. But I gave it a span. I've actually listened to it a couple of times and I have enjoyed it, but there's um, a lot more in this kind of collection of stuff that I enjoyed more. So I, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but it's one of my favorite. It was 100% my favorite release out of the whole lot that was sent to me. And this is Winter Filleth. I think that's how you say it. Um, the Beckoning Dawn um, comes with a cool little strip. Um, this is just one of the most glorious black metal records I've heard in a long time. In terms of modern, high production black metal, not anything sort of um, raw about it at all. It's got like, a, it's got atmospherical sections, it's got, you know, uh, stringed instruments like cellos, violins, and orchestral instruments, um, and yeah. There's the band there. Sorry for the glare. Um, and in terms of the actual records themselves, they came on these really cool kind of snow glossed uh, vinyl. Um, as I said, it's just a really high production, incredibly well written black metal project. Um, and I absolutely adore it. Um, it sounds amazing, it looks amazing, um, and kind of that's all you can kind of ask for really. If it sounds and looks amazing, then you're onto a good one. So that's it for the gifted side of things. Um, now onto some stuff that I actually purchased for myself uh, recently. Uh, first three are like uh, full on raw black metal projects. First one is Lament in the Winter's Night. Um, I've been looking at this for a long time um, and I just never pulled the trigger on it for some strange reason. Um, what, as you would expect with all these raw black metal projects, it comes with a massive poster of the front cover of the record. Um, and yeah, this is just one of my favorites. This is 100% one of my favorite sort of black metal projects out there at the moment. Um, it's just, as it, what is it called? At the Gates of the Eternal Storm. I mean, the cover, even, just everything about it, the yellow logo, which I love, the dude standing there, the title, everything about it just looks absolutely awesome. Um, and the best way to do it, as you'd expect, um, just with the vinyl, it's just black. It's just black vinyl. Um, so the reason why I didn't take too long on the cassette version is because I also grabbed the Perverted Ceremony witchcraft split on 12 inch as well, which is just once again, as you expect, just a black um, record, best way to be when it comes to the black metal stuff. Um, you've got the Jensen Perverted Ceremony. Their logo is my favorite logo ever. Just reminds me of 70s Black Sabbath vibes, but in black metal. Um, and then the witchcraft guys. Yeah, just easily one of my favorite underground black metal bands ever, Perverted Ceremony. Um, everything they do, I really enjoy. It was one of the first seven inches, uh, seven inch vinyl I ever bought. Um, uh, from Perverted Ceremony and I just fell in love with them straight away. Uh, okay, so this one I actually got, um, I've wanted this one for a long time as well. Ever since I saw the cover, I was like, I have to own that. 
Um, this is, uh, sorry for the butchering of the name because it is in a foreign dialect, obviously. This is uh, Vor... Vorsath, 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 I believe. Um, In terms of, it's not a warning because it's underground black metal, but this is sugary sweet. Um, this has got the black metal theme, underground raw black metal theme, with some seriously sugary, sugary, sweety synth stuff on here, um, which actually takes you by surprise, um, but it fits really, really well. Um, so I'm actually looking for more stuff. That's why it actually moved me into, it's nothing like it, but it actually got me into the whole dungeon synth sort of vibe just because of the synth stuff that's on here. Yeah, so I don't really know how else to explain it. It sounds like if um, Disney got hold of medieval synths and said, you need to make them way more accessible to the ear. <laughs> so it's really weird saying that coming from like someone, you know, coming from a black metal um, release and a black metal fan. Best thing about it, it's my favorite front cover um, and it comes on this huge poster. Um, so I'm gonna be definitely putting that up when I'm finally moved all of this stuff uh, into my new apartment. Final two pieces I bought. Um, uh, I don't know how to actually pronounce this, this one. Fre Fredhof, Finste, Upe, I'm not even gonna try that last one. Dungeon Synth, basically. Um, I've been seeing this a lot. I saw it on White Filth Vinyl's um, YouTube channel. I listened to it and I really adored it. I want I actually purchased this and the second release as well, or the first one, I can't remember what way it goes around, but they were out of one of them. So the guy at Repost Records here in the UK said, look, I can send you something else. And I said, cool, don't tell me, keep it a surprise, but I would like it to be Dungeon Synth. So I got this one, um, which is, um, it's amazing, it really, really is, but it's a little bit harder to get into compared to the other one that I'm gonna show you. Um, this is a, a very weighty vinyl, um, and it comes on this beautiful white uh, finish. This record's really heavy, actually. That was kind of my first dive into Dungeon Synth. Um, so if you're, you know, for me, personally, this one was a little bit more difficult to get into, but I still enjoyed it nonetheless. This one, a lot easier. This is definitely my favorite Dungeon Synth record at the moment. This is uh, Fife with Va Five or V. Um, and this was the secret one. This was the one that I said, whatever you think your personal favorite Dungeon Synth record is that you have, send me that. Um, and this is just absolutely awesome. I listen to this a lot. Um, and it comes on this beautiful orange sunset sort of record. Um, so if you're trying to get into Dungeon Synth or you want to check it out or you're interested in looking at it, I would suggest checking Fife out first just because it's really easy to listen to and I really enjoyed it. Um, this one is the third pressing of 300 um, orange and white records. I don't know what it's out of, but there's 300 that are made, um, which is awesome. And that is all my new stuff. Well, that's all my new metal stuff. I have a bunch of hip hop stuff that I got fairly recently as well, because it's been a couple of months since I've actually shown you guys stuff. So yeah, there you go. I'm actually happy that I churned through them quite quickly. So let me know if you checked any of those out and let me know if there's anything that I should be checking out um, in the dungeon synth realm, especially because I'm really into that at the moment. So there you go. Well, Thank you very much for watching, guys, and hopefully on my next video where I'm actually talking, I will be in my new surrounding. So, cheers, guys. Much love. Mwah.